there are at least four stages to follow to produce the base of the box and it will be necessary to consult the drawing board in the preparation of the templates required to route the project. The lid has been designed to fit neatly into the base with a small rebate on the underside. Careful consideration should be given at this point as to how the material will be held secure and what cutters will be used. The material should be attached to a jig within a jig holder and the router cutter controlled with the aid of the template guide. Care should be taken to ensure that the procedure is safe. Constructing the jig holder is recommended to hold the material the template secure when routing the shape. This is the same jig holder that has been illustrated in previous chapters and has been reproduced here for your convenience and reference purposes. The trenches are cut, then the material is ripped to 40 mm wide. The template is produced from 12 mm plywood or MDF with an elliptical shape cut out from the center. The dimensions of the elliptical shape will be determined by the shape and size of the box and the template guide and cutter to be used. There are a number of alternative methods of producing the elliptical shape required. Find an elliptical shape from your local craft supplier and make a copy using the flush trim cutter or template guide and straight cutter. Purchase an elliptical cutting jig. This is available from Trend in the United Kingdom. This jig may not be suitable for cutting small ellipses. The jig can also be produced in your own workshop. There have been a number of articles published in various routing magazines illustrating how to route the ellipse with a homemade jig. With the elliptical cutting jig, cut a larger ellipse, then produce a smaller template with the aid of the template guide and straight cutter. The size of the cutout for the template will depend on the internal size of the box and the template guide and cutter to be used. To calculate the template cutout, this is the size of the internal dimension of the box plus the difference between the template guide and the cutter. The cutout will equal the internal dimension of the box plus 21 millimeters. A new template will be required to route the lid. If the same cutter and template guide is to be used to route the underside of the lid, it will be necessary to prepare that second template. This template should be 5 mm smaller all round. The new template is cut with the aid of the existing template. Secure the first template to the new piece of material and select a 16mm guide with a 6mm straight cutter and produce a second template that will be smaller elliptical cutout. This combination of template guide and cutter, 16mm and 6mm, will produce a template required to route the lid and produce a cutout 5mm smaller all round. The prepared templates are classified as female templates and it will be necessary to produce two male templates. The male templates are referred to as plugs throughout this presentation. The plugs are required to be cut before routing the base of the box or the lid. They must fit neatly into the recesses produced in both the base and the lid of the box. The plugs can be cut with the router more accurately 
With a 16mm template guide and a 5mm straight cutter, secure two or three pieces of 9mm MDF material together and screw to the jig to be placed in the jig holder. With the first template secure in position, route to leave 2 to 3 millimeters for trimming. Trim the waste material with a jigsaw, bandsaw or scroll saw, leaving 2 to 3 millimeters for trimming with the trimming cutter. Repeat the process with the second template to produce the second plug. When the plug is inserted in the base, it should be at least 10 millimeters higher than the material.